Good, good afternoon. I am Carl Thielking, the very proud principal of Pittsford Menden High School and the Master of Ceremonies this afternoon. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the commencement exercises of the Pittsford Menden High School Class of 2017. Again, I ask that everyone remain standing through both the Pledge and, of Allegiance and the singing of the national anthem that will immediately follow. At this time, I call upon Eliza Sherman, President of the All School Student Council, to lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. <clears throat> Welcome again to our commencement exercises. On behalf of our entire Pittsburgh Menden staff, we are thrilled to be part of the excitement and celebration surrounding the graduation of these young men and women. It is now my great pleasure to introduce honored guests and faculty who are with us this morning. We would, um, I would ask that everyone please hold your applause until all have been recognized. Joining me on the platform, starting on my, uh, to my right in the first row, Mr. Michael Pirro, Superintendent of Schools, Mrs. Kim McCluskey, President of the Board of Education, Mrs. Amy Thomas, Vice President of the Board of Education, and uh, following members of the Board of Education, Mrs. Irene Narotsky, Mr. Ted Oresti. Continuing in the second row, Mr. Peter Sullivan, Mrs. Valerie Baum, and Mrs. Renee Sanchez Kazakis. And then, in the first row on my left, Mrs. Laura Hefner, Assistant Principal, Mrs. Kelly Zelke, Assistant Principal, Mrs. Melanie Ward, Assistant Superintendent for Instruction. Mr. Michael Leone, Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources. And in the second row, Mr. Tom Kennel, delivering the faculty address. Dr. Jeff Kimmer, Chief Information Officer. Mrs. Elizabeth Woods, Director of Special Education. And Mrs. Patricia Von Brogan, Director of Student Services. How about a warm round of applause? Joining us as well this morning, um, and they're sitting in a, the center section in, in front of our graduates, are representatives of our exceptional staff. Their hard work and dedication has been fundamental to the success of our graduates. With the following faculty members um, participating in today's ceremony, please stand as I call your name, and would the audience please hold your applause until all are recognized. Mr. Scott Bielek, English Language Arts, 
Mr. Vincent DiGiacomo, counseling. Mr. Eric Damros, counseling. Mr. Aaron Fromm, technology. Mrs. Lois Houlihan, science. Mr. David John, Menden Center Elementary. Ms. Kelly Jordan, music. Mr. Paul Maguda, music. Mrs. Sarah Nazarian, English language arts. Mr. Bruce Peachy, science. Mrs. Beth Quattrochaki, art. And Mrs. Michelle Slominski, science. How about a big round of applause for our team? It is now my pleasure to call upon Superintendent Pirro to share his greetings. Thank you, Carl. Good afternoon. I'd like to begin by saying how proud I am of each one of our seniors that are here today. I want the seniors to know how hard that they've worked uh, and that it's acknowledged. They've worked hard throughout their career as a student, and it's this hard work that has brought all of you here today. Today, you graduate from one of the best high schools in the country. Without question, you are more than prepared and ready to move on to the next part of your life. As each of you know, every day at Menden High School was not easy, and at times you received support from others. I'd like to take a moment to thank those that have supported you over the years. To the parents, family members, and close friends that are here with us today, I thank you for your wisdom, for your patience, and most importantly, for the love that you've shared with your graduate. I thank you for the sacrifices that all of you made over so many years. To the teachers and staff and administrators, I'd like to thank you for your focus on the whole student. You've served often as coaches, cheerleaders, counselors, and role models, all while finding that careful balance between nurture and accountability. You should take great satisfaction knowing that you have prepared these graduates to be successful well beyond today. I'd also like to thank the Board of Education. I'd like to thank our community for deeply supporting and valuing the importance of education. You've set your expectations high for our district, and you remain steadfast in making every decision based on what's best for our students. And finally, to the graduates. I want to thank you for making us all so very proud on a regular basis. You are a remarkable graduating class. Mark Twain stated that the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day that you find out why. While I agree with this quote, I would also add the third most important day is today. As I think about your graduation, I think about how few times in life you truly get a fresh start and a chance to literally do anything you set your mind to. Today's remarkable. You get a chance to begin the process of making your mark on however you want to do that. You get to start from scratch. As of today, each one of you has a clean slate. You have the opportunity to shape your world as you see fit. You should feel very, very empowered knowing this. My guess is that some of you absolutely know what you want to do with your life and that you have your career or major figured out, while others, not so much. There are more than likely mixed feelings with all of you, ranging from excitement to fear and many emotions in between. And my guess is that parents are probably feeling the same. But know this, regardless of the certainty of your next steps or how you're feeling right now, I promise you, you will be fine. You will be more than fine. You are prepared to move on. My message to you today is very simple. Take advantage of the clean slate that you have now and take control over your future. Learn from your mistakes and apply all the life lessons that you've experienced so far to date. And in addition to those lessons that you've learned, think about all the new people you will meet in the near future in either the workforce, the military, college, or elsewhere. And remember that you only have one shot at making the first impression. As you start your new slate, think about the impression you want to give others about yourself. And along those same thoughts, be yourself. I'll say that again, be yourself. Ralph Waldo Emerson was quoted as saying, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you someone else is the greatest accomplishment. 
I ask that you find a way to be comfortable in your own skin and be proud of it. Leaving high school is absolutely a transformative process. And if you have selected a persona so far that is not your true self, then change it starting right now. This is a time to be that person that you always wanted to be, a time to be the person that you've dreamt of. I'm excited for all of you. I'm excited for your future. I want you to know, very genuinely, that you have a home here in the Pittsburgh School District all the time. I ask that you come back. I ask that you visit us as you remain part of our family forever. I wish you the very best of luck in your future and a very sincere and well-deserved congratulations to our seniors. Thank you all. Our honor graduates vote for one student from their ranks to speak at graduation. It is therefore my great pleasure to call upon Casey Ransford, who will be speaking on behalf of the honor graduates. Before I get started, I just want to say my mom's real nervous right now. I didn't let her read this, so. Uh, <laughs> love you, mom. Teachers, parents, faculty, siblings, family, friends, and of course, our graduates. I'm truly honored to be standing here before all of you. As I look out, I can still remember sitting with some of you guys in Mrs. Slocum's first grade class and asking her when we would get to graduate. And when she told me 2017, I was like, wow, that's so far away. I'm never going to get there. I felt like we would all never be this old. But you know what? We made it. All these years later, we made it. And now it's time to move forward, celebrate, and get ready for our futures, whether that be at a university, a job, a trade school, or in the armed forces. And to do that, I guess you guys put me up here to try to give you some wisdom. But first, I want to take a look back at all the incredible things that happened this year. Our AP Gov classes, you guys took a trip somewhere. But for the life of me, I can't remember where. Um, you really should have put up more snap stories and Instagram posts because I can't remember, so you'll have to remind me later. Uh, RBC, guys, we raised $25,000 for the Galasano Children's Hospital. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, give it up. That's great. But the night was only made sweeter when our ladies kicked Sutherland's butt. That was pretty cool, too. Boys, you took it down to the last second, but that was so... Yeah, give it up for the girls. Yeah. Not long after that, we had the infamous triple snow day. It's not long ago that I remember hearing that our superintendent was from Alaska, so we'd never have a snow day. But this year, we had three in a row. And I was really grateful because I was actually down in Orlando getting some sun, so while you guys were freezing your butts off, I was just down in Orlando, you know, only missed one day of school, so that was great for me. Our musical groups and our theater squad, you guys did awesome this year. The Little Mermaid, I went out and saw that. That was great. And um, Bella Voce and the Testosterones. I'd never seen you guys perform, but at the Spring Pep Rally, you guys put on a show. That was awesome. Congrats to you guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But of course, we can't talk about senior year without talking about the last day when we pulled off the greatest senior prank in school history. <laughs> Even though Mr. Teal King warned us not to do it, our lust for a prank got the best of us, and we laid down in the science hallway and provided everyone else with the slightest inconvenience getting to ninth period. Great job, guys. Uh, there were some really big things in the world. Of course, the big one was the election. Love them or hate them, you gotta have learned one thing from our nation's new president. Pride and passion are powerful. But moving on to a happier subject that won't tear half the room apart, can we talk about the Cubs? 108 years, yeah. And Jack Fiorelli, I am not a Cubs fan. I told you I'd shout you out. I'm not a Cubs fan, Jack. Uh, Mr. Larson is still singing Go Cubs Go and wearing that championship t-shirt. I don't know where he is. I really hope he was here. I had more stuff to make fun of the Cubs, but he's not here, so it'd be wasted. All the sports were crazy. They were all so wild. We saw championship games come down to last second plays, the first ever Super Bowl to go into overtime, and Kevin Durant's lack of loyalty created the best NBA team ever. I don't care if you think there's another team, Showtime Lakers are not better than the Warriors this year. I'm sorry. But I know not everyone likes sports like me, so let's talk about some movies real quick. Star Wars, that was awesome. La La Land, Moana, where are my Disney fans at? And while we're talking about, yeah, while we're talking about movies, my favorite this year was Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I enjoyed that one, yeah. All right, so I'd say it was a good year for, some, for the movies. 
But um, there's also music. A lot of music came out this year. New Ed Sheeran, Katy Perry dropped an album, Bruno Mars had a good year, The Six Guy Drake put out More Life, Migos did it for the culture. Yeah, that way. <laughs> But there is one album in particular that I want to talk about, my favorite album of the year, um, and that was Kendrick Lamar's Damn. That came out not too long ago. We got some, a lot of Kendrick Lamar fans here, so I'm happy about that. So the last track is called Duckworth, and um, I like this one a lot, and it, it starts off all quiet, and then the chorus comes in and it sings, It was always me versus the world until I found it's me versus me. It was always me versus the world until I found it's me versus me. Class of 2017, I want you guys to think about that. I want you to think about that and where we are in our lives right now. <laughs> about, you know, pretty soon, we're gonna be starting our new journeys in life. And though it might not seem like it's that soon, we're gonna be starting our new lives. But there's still so many challenges we haven't faced yet. Things are going to get tough, tougher for some than others, but we are all going to face struggle. And when you do, I want you to remember one thing. You're ready. If you're sitting in front of me today, graduating from one of the best public schools, not only in the state, but in the country, you're ready. And at this point, it's in your blood. It's in your DNA. You're going to be taken out of your element, sat down and humbled. But when those hard times come and you feel like everything is going wrong, I want you to remember that you're ready. We tend to make a lot of problems for ourselves as humans. And if you panic, forget what you've learned, and give up, you're only going to make things worse. There is no solution, or there's no issue that doesn't have a solution. There is no problem that doesn't have an answer. There is no reason for you to ever give up. Because whatever it is, we are all capable of getting past it. It's not you versus the world. It's you versus you. As our time as Pits for Men and Vikings draws to a close, and as we approach the heavily anticipated walk across the stage, and as we go off into our grad parties and celebrate our four years of hard work with friends and family, I want you all to remember my message. I want each and every one of you to know how great you are and how far you can go. To take what you've learned here in school, not just the subject matter, but also the life lessons, and know that you are ready to grab life by the horns and make it what you want. I am XX extremely proud of all of you guys, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. Thank you again for letting me be up here. Enjoy the rest of your day, soak it in, and go Vikings. Ease out. It is now my pleasure to call upon our concert choir members who will be performing unwritten under the direction of Ms. Kelly Jordan. Something in the distance, so close you can almost taste it. Re 
I am now pleased to call upon Miriam Safar, president of the senior class, who will share reflections on behalf of the class. Wow. Hello, everyone, parents, family, friends, faculty, guests, and of course, the graduates. Before I begin, I just wanted to thank the people who made it possible for me to stand in Maroon in front of you today. My parents, my brother and sister, and my aunt and cousin. And I'm sure that each of you have your own people that you'd like to thank, so I invite you all to stand up. Like, yeah, like actually stand up. <laughs> and give a big round of applause to our parents. So I'm going to start today by asking everyone a few questions. And it only works if you respond, so just like get ready. So raise your hand. This is the last time you'll have to raise your hand. Raise your hand if you have a Snapchat account. All right. Keep your hands raised. Raise your hand if you have an Instagram account. Parents? No? And last question. Raise your hand if you're on Facebook. Come on. There we go. So that's basically everyone, a, a significant majority, I think. So here's the first disclaimer. I'm as addicted, if any of you know me, I'm as addicted, if not more so, to all of my social media than all of you probably combined. But I do have to say that I think defining everything that we do recently, from my own personal popularity to everything else, like our expectations for ourselves, by the number of likes or views or favorites that we get, it's really fun, don't get me wrong, I love Visco, but it can be distracting. Why am I so obsessed with what other people like? Why am I not more obsessed with what I love? As we go out toward the future, our potential is just getting bigger, so we have to find out what it is that we really love. If it's a sport, if it's lacrosse or golf or soccer, if it's an ideal like our country, our religion, or if it's a field of study, a lifelong ambition, an occupation. We have to find out what it is we really love. Imagine that you're in the woods at night. This is kind of creepy. So there's a table in front of you. The table has a candle, some matches. It has some wires, some bulbs. And you have a choice. You can first, you can grab a candle, light it up, and walk through the woods. The second choice is you have to build a flashlight with everything in front of you. What would you do? If you pick the candle, it's pretty easy at first. But when the wind starts to blow, it might get more difficult. If you pick the second option and spend some time figuring out how to build a flashlight, does anyone know? <laughs> you might get frustrated. You might get tired. But when you walk through the woods with that flashlight that you built, you'll be able to see around you, guaranteed. Either option gets you through the woods. But with one, you spend more time avoiding tripping, and the other, you enjoy the walk. Now, it's easy for me to say, find your passion, even if it puts you $120,000 in student debt, and your mom gets mad, and there are no career options. I'm not saying change your, mi change your major from biology to basket weaving. I'm just saying, when you're cramming for your bio midterm, maybe make some time to weave some baskets. 
So class of 2017, we've spent a lot of time together. And although there's like a slight chance that Mr. Teal King might say a few words about this, I'm just gonna cover it just in case. So we've been talking about graduating since September 4th, 2013, when we stepped into Menon High School, which is 1,389 days ago. We survived freshman year when we were thought we were on top of the world, when Bozus parted the Maroon Sea, and everything on Instagram had to be a square, we survived sophomore year when we got our learner's permits and hit the roads and our counselors started asking us what our plans were. For reference, that was when Ebola was a thing and when the biggest change in our lives was when Snapchat, you could just touch it. You didn't have to hold it down. We survived junior year when we took the PSAT and the SAT and the ACT and then we did it again. Presidential candidates were in our backyards and the real world seemed closer than ever before. And now, we have survived senior year. We have decided where we're going next. We are being nudged or kicked out of the front door, and we will never again have fire drills in the freezing rain or be required to ask permission to go to the bathroom. 40-minute <laughs> periods and four-minute passing time no longer dictates our life, and I can't wait to forget the exact start and end time of every single period. <laughs> now we'll probably never be in the same room together ever again. And while that's a little bit sad, it's also very exciting. Up until now, we've been held back. We have been held back. You did a great job, but we've been held back from really enjoying and exploiting the things that we love. And while it will be harder to keep in touch when we're all famous, I'm sure that through Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook or something, I'll still like your post, especially if it's you doing something you love. Congratulations and thank you, Men in High School, class of 2017. As is our tradition, the senior class has selected one of their teachers to bid them a final farewell. It is now my pleasure to call upon Mr. Thomas Kennel, who will deliver the faculty address. That's right. First, good afternoon. And secondly, I would like to take a moment to honor the class of 2017. Let's hear it for the class of 2017. <laughs> Woo! Well done, guys, well done. I want to say from the bottom of my heart that I am so proud of each and every one of you. Amidst all the parties and fun that will happen in celebration of this day, please take a moment to be thankful for those people who got you to this point. Some of them, I am sure, are here right now. Briefly, reflect on the sacrifices they made to get you to this stage. Because today isn't just about you, it's about them too. <laughs> I am deeply honored to have been asked by the class of 2017 to impart some final words as you all become official high school graduates. I was recently asked by one of our seniors, what is on your bucket list? There are many answers to this question that you hear fairly regularly. Trips, buying stuff, fitness goals, relationship goals, eating at a famous restaurant. None of these things came to my mind. I told the student to gain perspective so that I can experience as much joy from the little things in life as the big things. To which the student responded, I like that. <laughs> I believe that it is the appreciation of the small that clarifies your perspective and keeps you grounded amid all of life's highs and lows. Success is not simply the completion of an arbitrary goal. True success comes from appreciation and gratitude for the things along the way as you arrive upon that goal and reflection upon what you learned. This is how you continuously improve. And at the end of the day, that is all that truly matters. Today represents an accomplishment, but it is also a short pause on your journey 
of seeking knowledge and strengthening your character. Be a positive example for others. Be supportive, kind, respectful, empathetic, hardworking. Be an agent of change in someone else's life. Lead by example. Be the light that other people look to. This is the absolute measure of true success. Speaking of success, I drive a Versa. <laughs> a Nissan Versa. It's not a Lamborghini or a Porsche and would never be mistaken as such. It's a small shoebox with wheels and is the envy of skateboards everywhere. It even starts most of the time. I constantly poke fun at my own car in class, so much so that if I received endorsement payments for every time I mentioned the Versa, I would be a very rich man. If there are any representatives from Nissan out there as we speak, we can talk afterwards. <laughs> I gained added appreciation for the Versa when I had to drive a rental car for three weeks after I had an, a little incident with a deer outside the village of Pittsburgh. This nightmare on wheels was awful to drive, made a high-pitched clicking noise when you closed the door, had a strange smell, and sounded like a tricycle horn when you locked it. Me. <laughs> Just embarrassing. Uh, driving the rental car changed my perspective and made me appreciate the Versa. I was so happy to get my beloved car back. As the saying goes, you don't know what you got until it's gone. Now you guys are moving on to greater freedoms to discover who you are. What moves you? What are you passionate about? Trying to answer these questions is one of the great challenges and mysteries of this life. It is something that we all share. It is something that connects us to every human being. The drive to get better and be better every day should be at the center of your world because not everything is going to work out the way you think. But that's okay. That's growing up. And there is nothing that helps you improve yourself faster than failure. Ooh. I stand before you now, not because of my victories, but because of my failures. Everyone fails. We need to put our pride and ego away and embrace the losses and see them for the glorious opportunity they represent to learn about ourselves and get better. To face failure with an open mind in absolute humility is not easy to master but it is one of the most critical skills you need to learn. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. True success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Standing here right now, I can proudly say that I am a giant pile of failure. I fail every day, multiple times, sometimes in minor ways, and sometimes in mind-blowing, spectacular fashion. But here I am, I'm okay. Everything is fine. Just like I tell the kids when I make a mistake in class, even Babe Ruth struck out. Looking back at all the setbacks, I am genuinely grateful for them. They have helped shape who I am and helped me learn and improve. Without them, you have no perspective on success. Success without gratitude and reflection is devoid of meaning. Having the drive to keep moving through obstacles, never being satisfied, and having the grit to accept your mistakes and learn from them sets you up to accomplish whatever endeavors you take on. Embrace the mistakes. How you react to them tells much more about a person's character than any reward, ribbon, certificate, or plaque ever will. A little story about overcoming adversity with these guys, the class of 2017. A couple of years ago, when I had many of you guys in chemistry, the bell rang 
And I began my class, as I often do, with daily announcements and reminders. About halfway through my announcements, a hornet entered the room and was buzzing around above all of our heads. The kids were understandably distracted, and I took it upon myself, the adult in the room, to model cool, calm behavior. I told them, relax. The hornet doesn't want anything to do with you. Just ignore it. I'm sure it will go away. Sure enough, the hornet flew off to some unseen part of the room, and we all quickly forgot about it. About 20 minutes later, I was standing in front of the kids at the front of the room. I felt what I thought was my school ID lanyard awkwardly moving on my neck. So I made a motion to move it. But you know what? It wasn't my lanyard. Apparently, the hornet was so interested in my lesson that it wanted to learn more about molecular orbital theory up close and personal on my neck. Talk about engagement. I can't tell you how long the hornet was perched there, and frankly, to this day, I am still shocked that none of the kids told me it was there. <laughs> but let's be honest, I probably had it coming. What I can tell you is that when I brushed the hornet, it stung me right in the jugular. <laughs> At that moment, time seemed to slow down, probably a direct result of having hornet venom racing through my bloodstream. The pain was white hot. However, I still found the courage to carry on. I thought to myself that if I could keep it together, this was an amazing opportunity. This was going to be awesome. I let out a quiet, ow, nonchalantly brushed the hornet to the floor, stepped on it, and continued teaching as if nothing had happened. I barely broke a sentence and focused intensely on not reacting in any way. Now my neck, on the other hand, was reacting violently. <laughs> it had begun to swell and turn a shade of red that I would only otherwise turn if I pulled the Versa up next to a Mercedes at a stoplight. The kids began to notice and ask, Mr. Kennel, did, did you just get stung in the neck by a hornet? I calmly replied, yep, I did, with absolutely no facial expression. After the lesson, the kids were simply amazed and were openly wondering if I had superhuman abilities. The, expression, the explanation that I gave them immediately afterward, that I don't feel any pain in any way, may have also contributed to that belief. Words spread like wildfire, and I took the opportunity to confirm all of the rumors the following day, that I do indeed have superpowers, and that I should not be messed with under any circumstances. <laughs> the lesson of this story is simple. When things don't work out the way you had planned, don't get too rattled by an obstacle in your path. Keep your eyes on conquering it. Focus on solutions, not the obstacle. When life gives you a raging hornet sting, don't panic, keep calm, and try to make the best out of a bad situation. Incredible opportunities will inevitably present themselves when you face adversity with an open mind and positive attitude. Don't hold on to setbacks. Accept them, laugh at them, and move on. If I had to boil down this entire speech into 10 bullet points for you to remember for the rest of your natural lives, a Cliff Notes version, if you will, here it is. Laugh often. Be grateful for all of the experiences that you have been afforded, both good and bad. The Versa isn't a bad car whatsoever. But mediocre things can be turned into great things if you have the right perspective and an eye for opportunity. Failure is your best friend. 
Get to know and love your best friend. Strive to be better every day. Never settle for a poor effort. Not trying is a one-way ticket to regret. Be kind to everyone you meet for the simple reason that you can. Life is so much better when people take care of each other. Smile often. Optimism is the best antidote for the perils of life. Your actions represent the deepest reflections of your character and speak for who you truly are. Make your actions count. Hornet stings to the jugular, result in intense pain, swelling, and momentary lapses in lucidity. But can make a great story if you can keep it together. And finally, always seek to learn about yourself and learn about the world. Stay curious. Being a lifelong learner will lead you on an amazing path of fulfillment and success. From the bottom of my heart, I loved being your teacher. I am confident that you will all handle a random hornet sting with grace and make choices that lead to great opportunities. Enjoy this day and live in the moment. Let's hear for the class of 2017. I now have the tremendous honor of presenting the Pittsburgh Menden High School cl graduating class of 2017. While uh, in school or in the community at large, these students have been recognized for a vast number of exceptional accomplishments. Let's take a few moments, even though our student speakers grabbed a few on me, and I may repeat, let's take a few moments to just consider some of the wonderful accomplishments of this class, as it is important now to reflect upon the cumulative significance of what has been achieved by this group of young men and women. Let's start with the community. In the community, members of the senior class provided leadership in supporting charities and, and the community at large in a wide variety of ways. Just a few examples would include Senior members of the Student Council organizing a food drive, collecting over 2,000 food items for the Pittsburgh Food Cupboard. Our drama and musical club, including our many senior members, sponsored a school-wide talent show, creating a fun evening for all and raising funds for the Ronald McDonald House. Led by seniors, our diversity club reached out and teamed up with several other schools in the district to participate again in the annual Treats for Troops post-Halloween candy collection. This year's record-breaking effort resulted in the collection of over 800 pounds of treats that were sent to troops abroad. Seven seniors in our Link Crew program volunteered their time after schools on Tuesdays uh, throughout the year in order to visit Thornell Elementary students serving as buddies, working to develop social skills with third through fifth grade students. Our, mem our senior members of the National Honor Society participated in 15 different activities focused on helping the greater Rochester and Pittsburgh communities, including participation in the Polar Plunge fundraiser to support special education or Special Olympics, um, <coughs> excuse me, the writing uh, of letters to soldiers serving abroad, and volunteering for the Women's Foundation of Genesee Valley in their Purse for Change auction. With senior leadership, Menden Interact Club volunteered for more than 40 community service activities this year, including right within the school, the PTSA Super Sale, the MHS Blood Drive, support for our unified basketball team, and outside of our school community, again this year, they participated in the Special Olympics Polar Plunge, raising $3,444 in donations. Seniors led the way for the past two years in the Habitat for Humanity efforts, which included 
participating in a collaboration to raise funds used, to, uh, used in the completion of the construction of a new home. Actively engaging in the physical construction of that home and participating in the dedication and celebration as a Rochester family took ownership of their first home. And as if building a home for a family in need was not enough, the club hosted what was called a bus club, I'm sorry, a bus cube build, creating seats that replace city bus, uh, or are placed at city bus stops uh, where no benches are available. Menden senior athletes were also engaged in a large number of team-sponsored community service and philanthropic activities, supporting local and national organizations, including the Fall and Spring Senior Citizen Yard Cleanup, the Pittsford Food Cupboard, the Jeff Milano Johnson Fund, Ronald McDonald House, American Cancer Society, Coaches versus Cancer, American Diabetes Association, Breast Cancer Coalition, EROC 8 Fund, and athletes participated in visits to the Golisano Children's Hospital. Again this year, as was mentioned a little earlier, with tremendous leadership from seniors and as part of the annual Rainbow Classic basketball game, $25,000 was raised for the Golisano Children's Hospital in memory of Pittsburgh's own Caitlin Paisley and Ryan McCluskey. As a very personal commitment to the greater good and in service to the entire nation, one of these seniors is entering the United States Naval Academy leading to becoming a commissioned officer. Perhaps if there is a distinguishing characteristic that speaks most broadly for this group of seniors, it might be in the realm of personal voluntary service to the community. Even though community service is not required of our students, nonetheless, 70% of these seniors have documented community service hours. 83 of them each personally logged at least 75 hours of community service. And in testament to their collective commitment to the greater good, this senior class has documented a total of 19,353 hours of service to others. Now, in the realm of student life and activities, members of the class led activities that add value and honor to our school. Here's a few. Senior members of our all-school student council organized an enter entertaining and creative pep rallies in the usual fall and winter seasons and continued our new tradition of an equally fun spring pep rally. But in addition, this group of seniors added the bonfire, which we hope to will continue uh, as a fun new tradition at homecoming. Seniors in the National Honor Society supported, planned, and sponsored many successful school events. For example, acting uh, as the honor guard uh, for graduation last year. Supporting parents, all of the parents trying to find that correct room during open house. Hosting a Halloween party event for the children of the staff members, cleaning up the Menden Courtyard, and providing an important tutoring program supporting fellow students at MHS. 28 seniors were trained in, as Link Crew leaders as part of that Link Crew program. Uh, they acted to plan and implement our highly successful freshman orientation and transition activities. This program has an incredibly clear and recognizable impact in helping our youngest students feel safe, supported, and confident in the new environment of high school. Through this program, and its impact on the newest members of the Menden, Menden community, these seniors have helped to build the foundation for the future success of our students and our school. Seniors in Diversity Club attended the seventh annual Global Citizenship Conference at Nazareth College along with over 500 other Rochester area students engaging in dialogue regarding living in a diverse world. They also participated in two Area Rock to Change Student Summits on Race and collaborated with Sutherland students to develop action plans for both high schools. With senior inspiration and leadership, a new chapter of Girl Up organization, which is sponsored through the United Nations Foundation, was created at Menden High School this year. The International Girl Up program is dedicated to empowering generations of girl leaders worldwide. 
Our MHS Girl Up Club joined over 1,400 high school and 120 college chapters found in 48 states and territories and uh, in the US and 90 countries. Most Im impressively, however, in this first year of the club, they hosted over 250 participants in what turned out to be the largest Girl Up conference in the nation. 10 seniors in DECA Club, which uh, sent, student, went, sent teams to uh, participate at the regional, state, national, and international level competitions, um, sent nine of these uh, seniors who won uh, the right to compete at the state level. Um, all of them becoming top 10 finalists in their events. One of these seniors qualified to represent New York and California, attaining the level of sixth place in the world, having risen above over 250 other competitors in that same event. The MHS seniors who com uh, competed together in Odyssey of the Mind, since elementary school have so many accomplishments to be proud of, including advancing to the regional and state tournaments each year, advancing to the world finals more times than any team in Pittsburgh's Odyssey history, and being recognized with the National Award for Exceptional Technical Creativity and Risk-Taking in Problem Solving. In the extracurricular area of drama and theater, seniors led the way both on the stage and behind the scenes with two wonderful productions. This past fall, the Drama Club, Club produced a series of one-act plays called All in the Timing. With limited stage time, the cast, led by state, uh, student stage managers, worked outside of the standard rehearsal ca calendar to polish each piece, culminating in a wonderful show. This spring, the cast, musicians, and back uh, stage crew provided a marvelous production of the Disney musical The Little Mermaid. At the region, Regional Stars of Tomorrow Gala, the following awards were presented to Mendon. The Outstanding Student Pit Orchestra Award, the Outstanding Stage Crew Award, and the entire cast earned the Outstanding Singing, Singing Ensemble Award. In athletics, with the leadership of this group of seniors, the accomplishments abound. In total, across the athletic program, teams in 11 different sports achieved Monroe County Division or countywide championships. 14 of these teams, 14 of these teams were ultimately sectional champions, six of which went on to compete in the state championships, and two of these teams ended the season as New York State champions. In addition, 26 teams were selected, 26 were selected for special recognition as New York State Scholar Athlete teams. Individual athletic uh, accomplishments included 41 first team all county selections, two Monroe County Players of the Year, 12 Section 5 individual champions, 19 all Greater Rochester athletes, 12 seniors attained the status of all state selections, and further demonstrating the real meaning of the term student athlete, six of these seniors were also recognized nationally as academic All-Americans. <laughs> Speaking of academics, the class of 2017 has so much to be proud of. In the discipline of music, the following are just a few examples of the many accomplishments supported uh, um, accomplishments um, by our uh, senior leadership. With 43 seniors collectively participating in orchestra, choir, and wind and percussion programs, our auditorium was graced by a tremendous year of seasonal concerts. Our, our concert choir performed at an invitational concert in the Churchville Child High School District. Our wind ensemble and concert choir enjoyed a, a great deal of fun and performance at Disney World. And 22 seniors led the way as our wind ensemble earned gold at this year's state festival performing a piece rated at the highest level of musical difficulty. And at the individual uh, accomplishment level, 
again, led by seniors. 10 musicians were selected to perform in all county festival. 27 musicians were selected for area all state festivals and seven musicians were selected for the prestigious New York State um, Conference all state after auditioning among 9,000 other students and receiving that honor. In the area of visual arts, students exhibited works of various at, in various local um, art shows, including two seniors at the RIT Invitational High School show, two seniors as part of the Shared Spaces show at Nazareth College, six seniors in the Through the Student Lens show at Image City Photo Gallery, and nine seniors at the uh, Bavona Children's Advocacy Center. In addition, seven seniors while competing um, I'm sorry, competing in the National Scholastic Art uh, Awards in categories of drawing, painting, art portfolio, and the literary genre of short stories, all walked away with 10 awards collectively, including one silver and one gold key. Various other academic accomplishments include the following. Through our participation in the national language exams, and competing at the highest level of challenge, one senior earned a National Bronze Award in French, and four seniors were national award winners in Spanish, including at the bronze and honorable mention levels. 11 seniors were recognized as Urban League Black Scholars. Eight seniors were inducted, into, inducted as members of the National Technical Honor Society through EMCC. 18 other seniors were inducted into the New York State Business and Marketing Honor Society. 98 seniors were inducted into the National Honor Society based on the criteria of, uh, that represent leadership, service, character, and scholarship. As part of the work in our virtual enterprise course in business, eight seniors led the way in earning a second place award in the uh, business plan competition at the Virtual Enterprise Northeastern Regional Trade Show. And through a national virtual enterprise competition, six seniors earned an honorable mention for a commercial that, de uh, that they developed showcasing their virtual business. By attaining a 90 or above average for the first seven semesters of their high school career, 128 of these young men and women have attained the status of honor graduate. As part of the engineering, design, and development classes, seniors set two goals this year. First, to capture images of sunrise from an altitude of 110 feet above the earth. All of the students in the class were at school by 3.30 a.m. I don't think there's any way I could have ever made them do that. In order to launch two weather balloons and their payloads. After recovering both payloads in Baldwinsville, New York, the goal was met, yielding both photos and video of the sunrise. A second goal, started by last year's seniors, was to be the first high school in the world to design, build, and fly a trackable high-altitude balloon that would circumnavigate the, the entire Earth at 45,000 feet. This year's seniors have continued to move this multi-year goal forward by working with engineers from Victor, New York, Cornell University, and experts in the Silicon Valley to custom design and manufacture a balloon that was launched on June 14th, carrying a solar-powered GPS tracker custom made by the students. The balloon traveled more than 3,500 miles before losing gas and coming down slowly in the mid-Atlantic to the west of Morocco. Although the goal was not fully reached this year, the flight was truly a great success and this year's seniors are passing on the challenge to next year's seniors to build on, what, on their work and to continue the effort. Based on PSAT scores in their sophomore year, eight seniors achieved the distinction of National Merit Commended Scholar Nine seniors achieved the coveted title of National Merit Finalist, and two of those seniors were ultimately awarded a National Merit Scholarship. Although many of these seniors will undoubtedly move up in, uh, to even higher recognition next year, when the results of this year's advanced placement exams are announced, 
based only on their AP scores through their junior year. 33 of these seniors were already recognized as AP scholars. 24 additional seniors rose to the level of AP scholar with honor. 23 more seniors achieved the level of AP scholar with distinction. And although four of these seniors had already achieved the highest honor of AP national scholar in their junior year, we know that many more will do so once this year's exams um, are recorded. In addition, and truly, I mean every student when I say each and every student, member of this senior class, was in some way a contributor to our recognition as a high-performing school academically each of the past three years and again this year. Whether it is the US News World and US News and World Report, the Washington Post, Newsweek, or the regional Buffalo Business First Journal. Our ranking is one of the top performing public schools in the region and the nation is directly related to the overall academic effort and success of each and every member of this group of seniors. And to top it all off, as we look to the future for these young men and women, after processing 1,532 college applications through our counseling office, these seniors have enrolled in 103 different colleges across North America, and collectively, they have been offered over 190 different college awards and scholarships, with a total potential monetary value of nearly $8 million. So let it be clearly known that I present to you today the rightfully proud Pittsford Menden High School class of 2017. It is now time to present the diplomas to our graduates. It is our tradition to distribute the diplomas in alphabetical order. As has been previously communicated to parents, professional photographers will uh, be taking various pictures as students receive their diplomas, and the RIT videography team will be creating a video record as well. It is therefore important that everyone remain in their seats during this time so as not to interfere with both the photography and the video videography of our ceremony. Our board president, Mrs. Kim McCluskey, and Superintendent Puro will now assist me in the presentation of diplomas to our graduates. Ready? Tatiana Ablaiva. Thank you. Gabriella Aguilar. DJ Alersha. Asia Allen. Erica Allen. Jack Christopher Andrucci. Austin Joseph Angie. Thank you. Braden William Apt. Emily Adele Ash. Rebecca of Orclea. Nikita K. Baby. Jason Bailey. Sydney Ball. Colby Philip Barker.
Elise K. Barkstrom. James Robert Tuhig Barrett. Benjamin Bartakovsky. Jacob Belias. Cassidy Bell. Winston George Bennett. Michael Richard Benatti. John S. Berardino. Kristen Bernard. Jenna Nicole Berry. John Douglas Betters. Adam Benjamin Black. Olivia R. Lyer. Jamie A. Bowler. Zachary Scott Briggs. Eliza Renee Brown. Gianni B. Brown. Catherine Bay Burnham. Sydney Carvada. Risa Cassano. Gavin Catalano. Charlie Cerrone. Samuel J. Sestra. Elizabeth J. Chang. Faith Noel Sheehan. Thomas Sinsebo. Caitlin Claffey. Audrey Clements. Eleanor Elizabeth Colton. Jenna Grace Connolly. Robert J. Kanzler. Liam Crane the Third. Caroline Cullinan. Aaron Elizabeth Cunningham. Amy Lee Courier. Cecilia Elizabeth Doherty. Salvatore Emmanuel Tobias IV. Jesse William Denver. Jesse Dirksen. Dara Brooke Caven Dunn. Nicholas Dominic. K. 
Catherine Eleanor Dooley. Jenna Doyle. Justin Dumont. Cullen Dunn. Colleen Marie Eckel. Catherine Eifert. Garrett Ronald Ellsworth. Daniel Yuri Elner. Rachel Engstrom. Emma Mary Fantuzo. Alexander Ferrara. Matthew L. Filipski. Kayla Leilani Fink. Jack Robert Fiorelli. Connor Miles Fitzgerald. Sarah Jamie Flanagan. Patrick Foster. Marissa Gabriel. John William Galbraith. Irina Jeline Gao. Sean Gelb. Madeline Gelder. Thank you. Taylor Edmund Janier. Rose Gilbert. Alexa M. Golubietnikov. William J. Gorzica. Jonathan H. Green. Adam Matthew Greenstein. Rafaela A. Guglielmino. Rohan Gupta. Connor Samuel Hames. Annalise Margaret Hamer. Natalie Anna Hammer. Madeline G. Haywood. Eli Jacob Hess. Heather Lynn Higgins. Garrett Hogan. Hannah Elizabeth Holland. Anthony Jacob Hoppe. Lily Poyser. Asia Tiana Hoyt. Alexander Hugh.
Madiha Hussein. Alexis Maria Imberja. Yamna Ismail. Jeremy Jacob. Sierra Nicole Joyner. Haley Jones. Jennifer Anna Coleman. Olivia Lee Cagle. Emma Keeley. John Zachary Kellett. Lexi Kelly. Philip Shipley Kelly. Spencer R. Kennedy. Tamara Khalil. Harrison James Kilberry. David Kim. Gavin H. Klingabeel. <laughs> Kelly Jean Knickerbacker. <laughs> Madeline Patricia Knight. <laughs> Zachary Grayson Kraut. Josie Sophia Lamana. Simran Inthu Lang. Jake Dylan Lattimore. Marissa Ann Lemieux. Christopher Andrew Lepore. Morgan Haley Levy. Deegan Lipsky. Kiana Luji. Sarah Marie Lyons. Natalie and Molly Ickle. <laughs> Anne Marie Marcosha. Brandon Daniel Markson. Grace Noel Martinez. Niall Covey Masoom. <laughs> Carrie J. Morrow. <laughs> Joshua Tanner McCarthy. <laughs> Emma Julie McDonough. Kira Allison Menzi. <laughs> April Eden Moffitt. <laughs> Leah R. Montione. <laughs> Brennan Michael Mooney. <laughs> 
Evan Robert Moyer. Matthew Robert Murray. Mary M. Nairos. Trevor Casimir Nesmith. Tyler Jordan Nicodemus. Veronica Ann Nobrega. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Norton. <laughs> Catherine Emily Novak. <laughs> Miguel Orango Jr. <laughs> Adrian Alejandro Padilla. Aliantha Karin Palka. Emma Catherine Park. Jordan Suzanne Penkaitis. Madeline Dorothea Perna. Mackenzie Grace Peterson. Nicholas Armin Pogarian. Evan Conrad Powell. Lucas Keras, Jillian Corvedo, Sapna Ramesh, Michael Scott Ramirez, Brianna Ramos. Vamos. Casey Liam Ransford. Colin Lim Ransom. Niels Rasmussen. Evan Robert Rilbuto. <laughs> Caitlin, Kate, sorry, Katrin Reynoldson. <laughs> Alexander Christopher Rapp. <laughs> Chloe Robertson. Lindsay Sarah Rocca. Matthew C. Rodenhouse. Emily Rose. Spencer James Rosero. Jack M. Rosso. Casey Bryn Rubin. Nathaniel M. Romo. Courtney Marie Sander. Gregory Paul Sanders. <laughs> Serena Sannon. <laughs> Brian.
Brett Sauer. Cecilia C. Savka. Rachel Nicole Scalen. Charles Shea. Colleen Malloy Scheller. Eliza Rose Sherman. Isabel Sia. Colin Patrick Smith. Oliver Warren Smith. Trevina A. Solomon. Justina Isabel Solomon. Grant J. Summers. <laughs> Abigail Sprague. <laughs> Sarah Sprawl. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Nickerson Steele. Charles Edward Stevens. Catherine Y. Stevens. Patrick Thomas Sullivan. Tiana Swank. Liam Tanchik. Yeah. Asad Wakar Tenweer. <laughs> Sydney Arden Taylor. <laughs> Devin Anders Taman. Catherine Marie Toma. Caroline McConnell Thomas. David Michael Thompson. James Thompson. Aiden Tolly, Lulu Tong, Samuel John Trawick, Graham Twites, Graham Spencer Van Benthuizen. Elena Barone. Paul Henry Vix. Silas Wade. Ryan Connor Walpole. Nicholas Lee Wang. Lillian Wei. David L. Wiegand. Rachel Wyland. Aiden 
Avery Williams. Tyrese Jacob Williams. Mackenzie Jordan Wynn. Casey Keith Woodward. Paige Marie Wright. Sydney Ann Wyman. Chie Zhu. Ethan Young. Miriam Zafar. Zenzu Chen. Allison Nicole Zesnick. JP, JP Zuniga. With the class president, Miriam Zafar, and the all school student council president, Eliza Sherman, please join me on the at the podium. With the class of 2017, please stand. In a symbolic gesture of successful completion of the requirements for a high school diploma and having now received their diploma, the class of 2017 shall now be led in moving their tassels from the right to the left. Thank you. You may be seated. Congratulations to the class of 2017, and best wishes to you in all of your future endeavors. We ask that everyone other than the graduates remain at your seats for the entire recessional and that you please refrain from engaging in conversations or posing for pictures take, picture taking as graduates recess as this would impede our ceremony. Upon completion of the recessional, our, our, our RIT hosts ask that families please go outside, wait uh, to greet your graduate in the front of the building, outside of the building, as there is another graduation coming later uh, that they need to prepare for. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now to please rise as I now present as I now present to you the graduates of the Pittsburgh Menden High School class of 2017.